everyone welcome back to this house of fashion today's episode is going to be based on how to cut an eye low curl kaftan using one yard and 24 inches of this fabric i'm going to fold it into four places for you to see how i'm going to cut it out this is into two first then into four as you can see so after folding it into four places as you can see the measurement i'll be using here i'll be using 10 35.5 inches which is for the full length and the shoulder length here will be 24 inches at the down part here too i'll be using 24 inches so let's begin the measurement i'll be starting with the full length the full length this is 35.5 inches and here i'll be using 24 inches like i said this is 24 inches so at the down here too i'll be using 24 inches as well so now going to make a curve from here to here I'm going to make a one curve Out, you are going to see how the shape is. Here is the full length 35.5 inches. This is the shoulder length, which I use 24 inches, and this down part I also use 24 inches. So what to me now is the neck. I'm going to cut out the neckline. The neckline is going to be a kino neck. That means it's going to be a wide neck. So the wideness of the neck, I'll be using six inches for the wideness of the neck here. Yeah. For the deepness of the neck, I'll be using two inches for the back, then three inches for the front. You can see. 2 inches for the back and 3 inches for the front. Then I'm going to connect the lines together. So this is for the for the back and here will be for the front. You can see it. When I cut it out, you're going to see it very well. So now I'm going to cut it out. Then I'm going to divide the shoulder into two. Cutting out, cutting out the shoulder depends on how you fold the fabric. You can tend to fold the fabric in such a way that you didn't have to divide the shoulder any. So now, so now to cut out the front neck. So this is the front neck. So after cutting out the front neck, the next thing I'm going to do now is to cut out the eye look to make the front lower than the back. So, but before I do that, as you are dealing with an extra large, you can leave it this way, it can be a 24, it can be 24 here, but here, my client is a medium size. 
So that is why I'm going to reduce this area. So I'll be reducing this area with six uh, by six inches. That means the initial measurement was um, 24 inches, so minus six inches. So now I'll be reducing it with six inches like the way I did. So the remaining inches is going to be 18 inches, as you can see. So what I'm going to do now is to curve it this way to the main curve earlier. See. Then I will not cut it out. So this is how the shape is going to look like. You can see now. So it will make the eye low part of it. So I'm going to reduce the front with at least six inches. So I'll be reducing it uh, with six inches. So these are six inches. Then I'm going to curve it to this edge. So you can see it by the time I cut it out, you're going to see the shape. After taking out the back, so I'm going to cut out the front. You can see this is just into two. I'll take out the back. So you can see how the shape is. Section. The first thing to do here is to join up the, the join of the shoulder. So I'm using six inches for the joining. You can see I'm starting from the I'm starting from the neckline here to the shoulder. So I'm using six inches for it. Then when I get here, I'll stop. The same thing applicable to the other shoulder here. Okay. You can see, I've done that to the other part too. You can see it. So the next thing to do now is to tape the leg with a bias. So after taping the leg like this, you can see it with a bias. The next thing I'm going to do is to join the side. The core part of it is to join it. So I'm going to stitch it with an half inch.
I'm going to stitch the other side too. You can see this is the shoulder. You can see it. This is the knife, and here is the other side. I have not stitched. So I'm going to stitch too. You can see here is the second one, and this is the first one. You can see, and here is the leg. So the next thing that I mean now is to do the high low part of it. So I'm going to stitch the damn part. So welcome back. Here is the finished look so far. This is an eye low cock after top, and it can also be addressed to some people. It depends on you. You can see where the sleeve is. So you can see the sleeve area. This is where you put your hand into. You can see it. Join the shoulder to six inches. It leaves the mini one. You can decide to make it three inches. It depends on how long we want this area to be. You can decide to make it two inches. You can decide to make it three inches. It depends on you. You can see it. And you can see the core aspect of it. You can see it. So it can also be. It can do it this way. It can be one shoulder, one up shoulder core half turn. You can see it. You can see how beautiful it is. So, if you enjoyed this tutorial so far, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe to it to be getting more tutorials. So, thank you for watching. Bye.